we really want to associate our champagne with uh, gastronomy. Mm. So it's always in a good in good place. Like for example, in France, we are in all uh, almost all the uh, stars uh, restaurant uh, restaurant with one star yeah. Michelin, Etoile Michelin. Yeah. And um, yeah, in every place is like uh, very with good food. Like uh, yeah. it's. Yeah, I think that's a concept that particularly when it comes to champagne in Australia we're slowly only slowly mm. warming up to a lot of my friends because they know I'm obsessed with champagne will think oh yeah that's fine you have champagne as an aperitif or to celebrate a special occasion but what do you drink for the rest of the meal I drink champagne the whole way through mm. but Australia really is in a place I think where most people would be inclined to start with champagne and then move on to wine for the yeah. rest of the meal and I would always say but champagne is wine yeah. and it's that's <laughs> exactly. why it's really exciting yeah. and I get a lot of people then ask me so what would you what would you pair this with if you were having this or what would you eat with it or if they're having cooking something in particular they'll go what kind of champagne would you have with you know mm. what fish I'm cooking but what would you inclined to serve the Blanc de Blanc with that we're just oh, trying now. For Blanc de Blanc, for, for example, um, you can have it with uh, oyster or you can have it with uh, scallops, uh, but even with uh, veal, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, so many things, it depends if you, which sauce you will put and uh, you can have it with, yeah, with tartar of salmon, of course, uh, yeah. uh, with about every fish uh, tartar, it's just amazing, mm -hmm. but with something always fresh and with the freshness of the, of the Blanc de Blanc, it will, be the, it will go perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and we love, especially in summer, we love seafood and our fresh, yeah. our fresh fish as well. And even so. if in for the brut, for example, if you drink it with um, uh, what, uh, goat cheese, like a uh, very fresh cheese, yeah. it's, wow, it's amazing. And uh, even after you can go uh, for it again for a dessert, so mm -hmm. with ice cream. And uh, yesterday we added ice cream with apple crumble, and uh, so just a crumble. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Wow, and a beer, and it was just amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. With this, uh, perfect, because this freshness at the end, it's just perfect, that clean, yeah. clean your palate, so you don't feel too uh, heavy at the end, so it's just amazing. Yeah. And I tend to, my best advice is you can pretty much drink champagne with anything. There's a few things that you can't, I think really overpowering foods or something yeah. that is really hot or overly spicy, yeah, and exactly. it will just overpower the champagne, but there's not too much in no, my and experience you can, that you, you can't drink, yeah. you can't eat with champagne. And it's, even uh, for spicy food, you have, you have so many wines that you can't mm. drink with the spicy food. Yeah. Uh, if it's to tannic, uh, if you drink spicy food with tannic uh, champagne, you, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna burn. It's uh, so you have to with spicy food. You can just uh, drink cham uh, champagne or or wine, uh, very very fruity. Like uh, yeah. so, go for a pinot meunier, for example. Yeah. yeah. But still, it's, uh, and if you're in my house, if you can't pair it with champagne. You won't be eating it. So <laughs> I will choose the champagne over the food any day of the week. And that was just a really small snippet of my chat with Constance from Champagne Lalia. We actually, in the full interview, we taste four of her champagnes. We talk about snow, rain, and heaps and heaps of other things. So please be sure to check out the other videos or the full video, which is about 50 minutes long. Thanks for watching.